PC Perspectives coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, Ryan Shrout with PC Perspective here. I'm with Will from uh, Cool Chip Technologies, which is uh, a, a they have really interesting cooling technology. They announced a partnership with Cooler Master today for are we, is it is it kinetic cooling? Is that kind of the correct name for the technologies that we're looking at here? That's right. So we we're using the term kinetic cooling to refer to figuring out ways of transferring heat to a rotating reference frame. In this case, what we've done, uh, you can see the spinning structure here. The heat sink becomes the fan. That's so there's th this is it. There's no fan that mounts on top of this. This this is the entire cooling device, heat pipe or heat plate rather, and then the spinning fins that move the air. That's exactly right. Yes, yeah, so you can see a comparison for what the status quo looks like today, right over here, where we've got a server cooling, a commercial product. You can see that the form factors are are roughly the same. On the right side, you see the kinetic cooling device. So at this RPM, we're removing more heat, but you're gonna if, if you could hear audio, you'll notice one difference. There's about a 20 dB delta between the commercial part and the cool chip part, and we're still removing more heat. Part of the reason why we, why we can do that is because we've just got more heat transfer surface area, so we can spin slower for the same amount of heat removal. Uh, the second thing is that, or the way that we achieve that is by conducting heat from what sits on the processor, your heat load. This is the heat spreader stage. Through these grooves that mate together, we're conducting heat using a thin layer of air. So once the heat conducts through that thin layer of air, gets onto this rotating structure, this air mover takes care of the rest. It does the force convection piece that the traditional fan does. And so this is something that you see applications for, not just in the server space, but in desktop consumer space, uh, small form factors, maybe even larger capacity uh, processors. Do you, I mean, this, this unit here, we, I think we talked about earlier, will probably be able to cool somewhere in the 60 watt range. I mean, how high do you, I mean, is there a limit to what you guys think you can cool in kind of standard heat sink form factors? In terms of the architecture, there's really no limit. There's gonna, there'll be constraints on, on the product, on the end product. So for example, the first product that we're launching with Cooler Master later this year will be meant for mid-level type gaming applications. So you can see one of the sample prototypes right here that Cooler Master has built. We looked at the server uh, sort of embodiment before. We're really, anywhere there is a fan today, you do much better with a kinetic cooling air mover. So that's, you know, the, the applications span the gamut. And I think interesting, uh, we talked about like cost differences, potential cost differences. You don't think that there's going to be a, a, a big premium for this type of technology over standard heatsink plus fan? No, absolutely not. I mean, it, it looks pretty, it's very shiny, yeah. but we're really committed to delivering solutions that are cost efficient. And the ways that we do that, we seek multiple ways to compete on cost uh, by, for example, tapping into uh, high volume manufacturing processes. Uh, that's part of the reason why we partnered with Cooler Master. They've got a strong brand. It's, it's very important for us to be cost competitive. There's no value in being more expensive and significantly quieter or providing better performance across any number of, of vectors, cost was a, a key consideration for us. And we spent a lot of time thinking about that, and we still do. That's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what you guys come up with later this year. Uh, hopefully, we'll see something sooner rather than later. Uh, thanks, Will.